Have you ever wondered why you resemble your parents? Well, the similarities between offspring and parents can be explained by the fact that parents pass packets of information, known as genes, to their offspring. A gene is a unit of heritable material, or DNA, that codes for a particular trait. There are genes for hair color, eye color, height, and every other trait an organism expresses. There are also genes that cause diseases, such as sickle cell anemia and cystic fibrosis. Genes are located on chromosomes, structures within the nucleus of a cell that consist of DNA wrapped around proteins. Living things have varying chromosome numbers. For example, humans have a total of 46 chromosomes, but cats have a total of 38 chromosomes, and the black mulberry plant a total of 308 chromosomes. It's important to note that chromosome number is not an indicator of how complex an organism is. Even though all the cells in a particular organism contain the same genetic information, not all the genes are active at the same time. The traits an organism expresses at any given moment are the result of certain genes being activated. Some genes are activated by extracellular signals, some of which are based on environmental conditions. For example, the life cycle of a frog includes markedly different physical appearances at different stages of development. The tadpole, which is the juvenile form, has gills and a tail. As that tadpole becomes a frog, the gills are slowly replaced by lungs. The tail disappears and legs form. The DNA of the organism remains the same throughout its life. However, different genes are active during different stages of development, resulting in the differences in appearance at each of these stages.